Marsden Travel is a large European tour company with its headquarters in London. The chairman, Bill Marsden, is always keen to extend his business to new parts of the world. And the Sadrina project was a scheme for package tours to Southeast Asia. It was opposed from the beginning by the inclusive tours director, Ron Howells. I tell you, it won't work, Bill. There's nothing new about package tours to Southeast Asia. Travel firms in this country have been operating them for years. Yes, but they've been operating mainly in the winter. Sadrina's proposal is for tours all the year round. It'll offer our regular clients exciting new places to go to. It's exactly what they want. Well, we can't afford this project. It's too risky. Look, Ron, I've got my own doubts about the project, too. But at least we should try and find out what it has to offer, Marston Travel. Even if it means going into partnership with someone you've never worked with, in a part of the world you don't know. Sadrina's been in the travel business in Singapore for 20 years. He's respected throughout Southeast Asia. You know that, Ron. Anyway, I've decided we should send someone out to take a closer look at Sadrina's companies in the East. Yes, I know. Do you still want to send David Foster? Yes, I do. But Foster's got hardly any experience of the travel business. He's only a branch manager. Remember, Ron, I was the one who brought Foster into this company. He's been with us almost a year. He's done well, extremely well. This project could give him the chance he needs to prove himself. Maybe, but I still Remember, think... Ron, you and I have been in the travel business a long time. What this company needs right now is young people with new ideas. That's why I'm sending David Foster. He's on his way here now. When he gets here, I want you to give him a detailed briefing. Yes, I was on my way. I felt I was lucky that Bill Marsden had chosen me to go to the East after only 10 months in the travel business. I was determined to do well. Hello, Rosemary. Hello, Mr. Foster. All right to go up? Yes, certainly. Thank you. Get that off straight away, would you? Yes, Mr. Marsden. Hello, Mary. Morning, Mr. Foster. Let me take those. Come in. Ah, oh, David. Good morning, Mr. Marsden. Hello, Ron. David. Looking forward to your trip to the exotic East? Yes, very much. It'll be the first time I've been outside Europe. Well, we're delighted you're going on this reconnaissance for us. It'll be a great opportunity for you to show us what you can do in strange surroundings. Quite a challenge, in fact. It could be a very exciting project, with a lot to offer our clients. Do you really think our clients will agree with you? It's our business to persuade them, isn't it? David, I'm going to leave Ron to plan your reconnaissance in detail. He'll help you to sort out your arrangements and show you exactly what to do. Thank you, Mr. Marsden. Now, let's see. You're booked on a flight to Singapore on the 14th of February. Yes, I was going to meet Sadrina in London. Apparently, Sadrina's been delayed. Oh? By other business, somewhere in Europe. It's not essential to see him before you go. And his head office in Singapore would like you to start your trip as soon as possible. So when should I leave? You could go at the end of this week. What about the 5th? Yes, yeah, fine. Shall I fix it? No, don't worry. Hello, Hal's here. I want you to change Mr. Foster's flight to Singapore. I'd like him to leave on the 5th. Yes, he's got a ticket. Thanks. They'll check with the airline and call me back. Where shall I be going after Singapore? Oh, don't worry about that now. We'll work out your itinerary in a moment. By the way, I don't know if Bill Marsden warned you, but when you're on this reconnaissance, you'd better keep quiet about the purpose of your trip. Really? Why? Because if any of our rivals in the travel business get to hear about this new idea of Sadrina's, it won't be a new idea anymore. Don't worry, Ron. Nobody outside this building is going to learn anything about the Sadrina project. At the same time, don't forget to report back to me. At least once a week. I want to know about everything you do and see in Southeast Asia. Everything. Even if your reconnaissance turns out to be a failure. A failure? You don't think much of this project, do you, Ron? Look, David, 
Over the years, Marsden Travel has continued to attract clients who just want good quality, reliable package tours in Europe. And those clients come back to us year after year. Well, maybe so. But how long are we going to keep those clients if we don't give them new ideas for their holidays? Surely Mr. Marsden is right. This project wasn't his idea, you know. It was Sadrina's. Oh, I know Bill Marsden thinks it's worth investigating. <coughs> Excuse me. Howells, thanks. Your flight is confirmed. Over the next few days, I tried to work out why Ron Howells was opposed to the Sadrina project. But I was much more concerned about making a success of my trip to the East. How much, please? 90p, please. 90p. There's a pound to keep the change. Thank you very much. Okay. Flight BA-177 to New York. And that's your boarding card for the flight, your bus ticket inside. You can get the bus through the doors at the end. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm flying to Singapore this afternoon. Fine. I need your ticket and your passport, please. Mm -hmm. Ticket. Thank you. And my passport. Thank you. Do you have any baggage? Yes. Would you like to put it on the scale? And I have some hand baggage. Oh, fine. You need a tag for that. Thank, Thank you. you. Would you like to sit in the smoking area or non-smoking area? Non-smoking, please. Non-smoking? Could I have a seat by the window, please? Yes, of course. Thank you. Fine. Now, will you be travelling by the bus to the airport? Yes, I shall. Fine. I need a pound for your bus fare, please. Pound. One pound. Thank you. Thank you. There's your ticket back, your passport. This is your boarding card for the aircraft, the bus ticket inside. You get the bus through the doors at the end. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a pleasant flight, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. I was soon having my first look at a newspaper from Singapore and enjoying my first drink on the long flight to Southeast Asia. I had plenty of time to think about the Sadrina project and to look forward to my reconnaissance. After leaving Europe, the first stop was Bahrain. We spent about an hour on the ground and by the beginning of the next day, the flight was well on its way to Singapore. In fact, we approached Singapore ahead of schedule. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to land. Please return to your seat, put your seat upright, place your tray table to its original position. Uh, 
Mr. Foster, how long do you intend to stay in Singapore? Four days. Uh, where would you like to stay in Singapore? I should be staying at a hotel. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good day. Hello. Do you have anything to declare with you? No, no, I haven't. Any whiskey, brandy, or cigarettes? Oh, yes, I do have a bottle of whiskey. Can we have a look at it? Certainly. Because my flight had arrived early, I'd be able to see something of Singapore before it got dark. Mr. Foster? Yes. I'm Miss Lee from Mr. Sedrina's office. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? I've got a car waiting outside to take you to your hotel. Thank you very much. My pleasure. This way, please. Did you have a nice flight, Mr. Foster? Yes, it was very good. <laughs> I managed to sleep on part of the way. It was very good service. That's nice. I just feel uh, a little tired now, though. Not too tired, I hope. <laughs> Would you like me to um, show you one or two places of interest? Yes, thank you. On our way to the hotel, all right? Uh, Is that a stadium over there? Yes, that's our national stadium. What sort of sports do they play? Uh, mainly football, uh, some athletics, band displays. Band displays? Yes, um, every year we have a brass band competition for our schools. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the uh, Padang over there. Padang? Uh, it's a local word which means open field. It's mainly used as a sports ground. And across the Padang there is the city hall. The Prime Minister's offices are there. Oh, cricket pitch? Yeah, that's the um, cricket club over there. Do you play cricket? Yes, I do. Good at it? Well, not bad. Mm. Oh, this is the Elgin Bridge. And we're going over the Singapore River. Actually, we have a name for this area. It's called the Tongkang District. A lot of uh, river river trading goes goes on here. I had been booked into a small hotel, away from the centre of Singapore. It wasn't the kind of place where I'd be likely to meet anyone from the travel business. I'll leave you now. See you sometime tomorrow. Okay, thanks very much, Miss Lee. Have a good rest. Bye-bye. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yes. My name's Foster. I think you have a room reserved for me. A moment, please. Yes, Mr. Foster, we do have your reservation. Can I have your passport? Yes. Thank you. The room number is 205, Mr. Foster. Uh -huh. 205. And how many nights will you be staying? Four nights. Yes. Could you please sign over here? Yes. Thank you. Oh, do you have a safe deposit box? Yes, we have. Mm. Oh, I'll just go and freshen up and I'll sort that out later, okay? Yeah. Thanks very much. Welcome. This way, please. This is your room, sir. Oh. Here are your keys. Very nice. Yes, it is. And over here, sir, are the switches for the bedside lamp. Mm -hmm. This is the volume control for the radio. And this is the channel selector. I see. 
And over here, sir, is the balcony. Oh, looks a good view. Yes. And behind me is the bathroom. Fine. And if you require a television or a refrigerator, you call reception. Well, that's very kind. Thank you very much. Oh, just a moment. There. Thank you. Thank you very much. It seemed a very nice hotel, with pleasant staff and efficient service. I was tired after my flight, so I decided to have a shower and then go down to the bar for a drink. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Scotch and ice, please. Yes, sir. Thank you. Mr. Foster, David Foster of Marsden Travel. Welcome to Singapore. <laughs> Mind if I join you? No, no, please sit down. Thanks. Here you are, sir. Thank you. I'm sorry, have we met before? No, we haven't. My name's Helen Elliott. Hello. I'm a journalist. I write about the travel business. Is this your first visit to Singapore? Yes, yes it is. Oh, it's a fascinating place once you know your way around. I suppose you know Singapore well. Yes, yes I do. As a matter of fact, I'm writing an article about package tours for a magazine back home. Oh, how interesting. Hmm. And where's home? Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> Ever been there? No, I'm afraid I haven't. Oh, that's a pity. I expect you haven't time at the moment. You've enough places to visit in this region, I believe. Well, enough places for one reconnaissance, anyway. Reconnaissance? I'm in Singapore for a holiday, Miss Elliot. Oh, come on, Mr. Foster. Everyone in the travel business here knows why you're in Southeast Asia. As a matter of fact, we've been expecting you. Mm -hmm. 